In this lesson, we'll have a look at Edge Animate, its key features, and a bit of history around the project. So here's Edge Animate opened up, and immediately what you're going to see when you open it is this welcome screen. So from here, we're able to open files, create new files, or if we have a set of recent files, we can open those from this little menu right here. But over on the side, we've got a number of other sort of helper screens. So we have this getting started screen, which exposes a number of in-app lessons that we can walk through. We also have key features. Now key features is probably the first place you'll want to go when looking at Edge Animate because you want to know exactly what it can do for you. And you can see here that Animate boasts an intuitive interface. So if you're used to other Creative Suite applications from Adobe, it's going to be pretty easy to pick up Animate. Precise animation. So the timeline in Animate is very similar to other time-based timelines from Adobe, especially those like Premiere or especially After Effects. Uh, it's very similar to the After Effects timeline. But it has some sort of unique attributes to it, such as the pin, which we'll see in motion. Interactivity. So since this is based upon web technologies, interactivity is accomplished through JavaScript code. And it works in line with both the Edge Runtime API and with jQuery, which is very popular these days. We also have the use of symbols when working in Edge Animate. So those coming from a Flash professional background will understand symbols as encapsulated objects, which have their own code, their own behaviors, and their own nested timeline. They're very powerful, whether you're using them within Flash professional or with Edge Animate. And especially in these days, we need to be mobile friendly. So Edge Animate definitely is that, because any compositions that we create in Edge Animate can be used across all sorts of mobile devices. We also here have a number of resources where we can go learn more about Edge on Adobe TV and the community and so forth. We can download samples and even look at the Edge Animate JavaScript API, the Runtime API. If you want, you can always quiet this screen so that all you see is the content on this left-hand side here. So Animate comes from a project that actually started off on Adobe Labs. So let's open up our web browser and go to Labs. You can see that right now Labs doesn't have any Animate content because Animate is at it's past its 1.0 release. But Labs was the distribution mechanism for Animate Preview 1 through Preview 7. And that took place over a year from August of 2011 to September of 2012 to when Animate 1.0 was released. So if we go over here to this tab, we can see we're at html.adobe.com slash ed slash animate. But if you just go to html.adobe.com, you can read all about what Adobe is doing with HTML. And there's a lot of really interesting things here. If you go to Edge Tools and Services, you can see all the different tools, including Edge Animate. And here you can read up on Animate. And if you need to acquire a copy of Animate, you can click this Get Started, and it'll bring us to Creative Cloud with a promo ID. We'll be able to sign into Creative Cloud here and actually get started with a free subscription to Creative Cloud where we're able to download a perpetual license for free of Edge Animate 1.x. So in this lesson, we've seen a little overview of the Animate application, what it's used for, and a little bit of history about Animate, and also where you can get your hands on a copy for free.